All right, everybody. Um, so this is gonna be our welcome video for Math 171, uh, Section 861B. So this is B Session, Spring 2024. Um, so you're gonna be a bit of a guinea pig in this class because we are using the brand new version of Blackboard called Blackboard Ultra. Um, this class is probably gonna be laid out different than the rest of your classes. Um, so I really wanted to try to highlight those differences uh, in the uh, in this video. So I really want to encourage you to take this video uh, seriously, watch through the whole thing, maybe watch through the whole thing a second time. Uh, I'm going to try to cover everything I need to cover in about 15 minutes. Um, maybe that will go a little bit long. Um, but before we dive into the course, uh, I just really want to stress to you that I'm your instructor. I'm here to be a support. I'm here to help you. Um, please reach out, email, uh, emailing me through your student email account through Outlook is the easiest way to get in touch with me. Uh, I'm usually able to get in touch, get back to students within 20 minutes. I really try to be responsive. So uh, I'm here to help you. Uh, I'm here to be a support. Uh, I also want to point out that we have wonderful tutoring uh, resources here at the college as well. We offer virtual and on-campus tutoring. Uh, I'll be sending out information about that as the semester goes along. But uh, in-person tutoring is available through the walk-in lab uh, in the Strickland building on main campus. Um, if you need any information about that, let me know. I can help you out. Uh, and then uh, you can sign up for virtual appointments through Navigate, and I have a how-to document I can send you if that's helpful. All right, let's take a look at the course a bit. Uh, so I am in uh, Blackboard under the course tab and then you see the course that we're all taking together. I like to put stars in the on the courses I need to access regularly and then I have it pulled up uh, in student preview mode right here. So um, when you start the course you're going to see a lot of locks where you can't access much. Right? It's going to tell you that stuff isn't available. That's because in order for content to be available in our Blackboard course, you must complete the course entry assignment. It takes like 10 seconds, but you've got to do it. Here's the course entry assignment. We're going to start it. You can get this question right or wrong. That is completely okay. You just must complete this assignment. Don't really need to download that. In order to have access to the course. So you see now all of the locks went away, the availability is different. You're now able to access stuff throughout the semester. Um, also something that's helpful while we're here, when you open something for the first time, see if I can click on example, it'll actually give you um, a little mark that says, hey, you clicked on that at some point. So, uh, nice way to keep track of where you've been in the course. Uh, there is a Start Here folder. Um, I encourage you to work through this. There is a, a navigate uh, navigation video put out by Blackboard here to help you. Uh, there is no textbook to buy for the course. Uh, there's a Student Information Hub. Um, I don't know how much you're going to need to access this but it's here if you want to read through it. If you want to skip this folder for right now, that's fine. Um, the first day of the semester, on Monday, I really encourage you to work through the Start Here tab. I think all the important information here we're going to cover today in this video, uh, but I encourage you to work through uh, the stuff in the Start Here folder the first day of the semester. That way you're up to speed with policies and procedures you can really focus on uh, course content starting day two. Uh, so the modules are set up to be roughly each week. So mod one is gonna be week one stuff. So week one, we're gonna cover section 1.1, section 1.2, and lab one. Week two stuff right here. At the end of week two is the first test. Week three stuff right here. Week four stuff right here. There's a test at the end of week four. Week five stuff right here. 
week six stuff right here, week seven stuff, and then week eight stuff. All right. Um, you know, the first week right here, the first topic that we're going to cover is section 1.1. And then the section 1.1 homework is due Tuesday, March 12th. The section 2.2 .2 homework is due Wednesday, March 13th. And then the first lab is due uh, Thursday, March 14th, which is Pi Day. Um, so the class is intentionally uh, set up to try to help you eat the elephant. This is a five hour credit class we're trying to cram into eight weeks. That means, you know, ideally there should be 10 contact hours uh, every week. So class is a lot of work. There's a lot to cover. So uh, we do daily assignments to try to help you eat the elephant. Uh, a couple ways you can keep up with those daily assignments. Uh, one is by using the calendar. So if you click on month, I don't love the formatting here, but here you see what's due on what day the other way you can keep up with assignments is uh, in the start here folder there's actually a course schedule that will tell you what's due each day and um, I think that this is worth printing out if you print one thing this semester I think this is the thing you should print uh, this schedule is also, um, so the syllabus is right here. I have the syllabus pulled up right here. Uh, the syllabus, the last page of the syllabus is the schedule. Um, I think this is the easiest place to print it and I formatted it so it would all fit on one page to make it easy to print. If you want me to print it for you, I can if you ask me nicely. All right, let's go through the syllabus and then let's demo an assignment or two uh, just to get you comfortable. So class does start on Monday, March 11th. We will be done May 3rd. So it'll be a very quick turnaround. Uh, my name is Mr. Lee. Uh, Full name is Grady Lee Wilson Weathers. I use he, him, his pro pronouns. Uh, this is my email address. This is absolutely the easiest way, best way to get in touch with me. So I do encourage you to reach out to me via email. Uh, I do have a phone, but I am not regularly in the office, so that's not a very reliable way. So email is the best way to get in touch with me. Um, the course is 100% online. There's no scheduled meetings. So uh, here's my supervisor. Here's the course description. There's a co-rec. If you are in the co, if you're not in the co-rec, you don't need it. Don't worry about it. If you're not, if you're in the co-rec, make sure you stay in the co-rec because if you uh, are kicked out of the co-rec, if you if you're required to have the co-rec and you're in it, so if you're not in the co-rec, don't worry. But if you're in the co-rec, if you're in Math 071. If you are removed from that class, I must withdraw you from my class. All right, so I don't want to see that happen to you. So make sure if you're in Math 071, you stay in Math 071. All right, student learning outcomes right here. I'll let you read that on your own. Um, important dates, April uh, 12th is the last day you can withdraw from B session classes. So make sure you know where you stand in all your courses early April. Universal policies and procedures, 10 point grading scale. Okay, how is your grade going to be calculated in this course? So there are four exams. They're each 7.5% or 30% of your overall grade. So going back to Blackboard here, um, Let's go, the first test is at the end of week two. Um, you can see here, uh, the, well, let's launch it, why not? Okay, uh, the test has a two hour time limit. It turns off Saturday, March 
23rd at 11.55 p.m. So you need to have it completed by then. That's when the test turns off. The two hours is two continuous hours. So if you start at 9 o'clock, the test is going to turn off at 11 o'clock. Two continuous hours. Um, the test has a timer that ticks down in the upper right corner and you are able to click around. The test is 15 questions long. All test questions, it's going to get mad at me for this. Nope, it won't. Okay. All test questions come directly from the homework assignments. So there should be no surprises on the tests. Also, the tests are not cumulative. So the material from test one will not appear on test two. Okay, so test two only covers the sections since test one. Uh, homeworks. Homeworks are 40% of your grade. Typically, your homework grade dictates your, the grade in the class. Uh, homework assignments are set up so that you get uh, unlimited attempts. Technically, it's 100 attempts. Let's open up the first homework assignment. We can play around with it together. Okay, so this question right here is the very first question. Actually, we can jump around the homework if we want. Um, but let's stick to that. Yeah, let's stick to this question. This is question two. And let's intentionally get the question wrong. Okay, I think that's... Oh, nope. Okay, I got the question wrong. Uh, I'm going to click get a similar question. Okay, I'm going to try again. Oh, I got it wrong a second time. Get a similar question. I'm going to get it wrong a third time. Okay, notice how this number over here keeps ticking down. I can get 97 more similar questions. So let's not accidentally get it right. Okay. Uh, once I decide to get the question correct here, I get one out of one point. I get full credit on this question. There is no penalty for taking multiple attempts. So if you will budget your time wisely, if you will complete every homework question, if you will take advantage of multiple attempts, if you will reach out to me or to tutoring when you get stuck on a question or you have a, or you, you don't know how to move forward, uh, you can get a 100% on your homework grade. And students that get a 100% on their homework grade do really well in the class. All right, so I want to see strong homework grades. Make sure you're budgeting the time you need to turn in really strong homework grades. I also uh, want to give you another tip for turning in strong homework grades. That tip is, in each folder, there are lecture videos. There's a textbook section, so you don't have to buy the textbook. We provide the textbook in Blackboard along with the homework. Here's the first section of the textbook. And there's video lessons. Don't skip this stuff, okay? Set the table. Take the time to set the table. Set yourself up for success for the section. A lot of times I have students contact me and they just don't have any idea how to answer this homework question. And I don't really know what to do to help them because there's a video showing them how to do it step by step. And I don't, I don't know how, how else to help you over email other than encouraging you to go watch the video that shows you how to do it step by step. So take the time to watch the lecture videos. Take the time to watch the video lessons. At least skim the textbook. All right. So set the table. Set yourself up for success. Because some of these later homework assignments, if you just jump straight into the homework assignment, you don't look at the, uh, the videos, you're going to get stuck. I don't want to see that happen. Okay, uh, next thing, lab assignments. Uh, labs, let's just open the first lab. You get one attempt on lab assignments. 
there's a add your work button. Typically what students do is they handwrite their work, then they take a picture of it, and they upload that picture here. Work is required for labs. All right. If you do not provide your work, you will earn a zero on the lab assignment. I'm going to make a separate video going over labs, but attaching your work and attaching good quality work is important. My expectation here is that you are providing work that is a gift to your future self. You are providing work here that in five years, if you need to review how to find the domain of a rational function, you can go back and look at your lab work for this class and know what to do. Okay, that, it's a gift to your future self. So I'm looking for really good lab work here. Uh, so what's really good lab work? The best way to know what really good lab work is, email me your lab work and I can check it for you. All right, I'm happy to check your lab work. I'm happy to give you feedback on it. I'm happy to tell you things that you need to clean up or improve. Um, if you wait to the last minute, I might be asleep. So I encourage you to send it to me early, at least 24 hours early, so I can get it back to you. Um, so I'm going to do another video on lab. Make sure you're budgeting the time to turn in good work. And remember, I'm here to help. I'm here to, I can check your work if you'll send it to me. Sometimes I have students, they get frustrated because they're not getting the lab grades that they want. And my recommendation is send me your work so I can I can give you feedback on it before it's time for me to grade it. And with feedback, you can get 100% on every lab, and that's what I want to see. Okay, late policy. There is no blanket late policy for the course, um, but I do have the discretion to work with you. So if something comes up and you're not able to complete an assignment, keep me in the loop. Let me know what's going on. Don't leave me sitting in my office guessing, trying to figure out, well, why didn't Billy turn in this homework assignment? I, it looks like he didn't even start it. Keep me in the loop. Email me and let me know what's going on. The more you keep me in the loop, the easier it is for me to work with you. There's no extra credit for the course. Um, if you're inactive for two weeks, you're going to get withdrawn. Um, I think that's all of the highlights. If I've uh, left something out that you think is important, uh, please reach out and let me know. Um, I think that's everything. So Ultra is a little different. Uh, the navigation for this course is going to be different than your other courses. Uh, but this is, I did this, I used this A session and my students, once they got used to it, found the navigation to be um, a lot more comfortable, familiar, easy to use than the old version of Blackboard. Okay, uh, please reach out if you have any questions. I'm excited about our session together.